right. What was the purpose of that beginning little intro? It's the most famous um, minor triad that I know of, and I thought I would start off with that to talk about triads and arpeggios in general. So that's there to heaven right at the beginning right here. So all that is is a minor triad. Okay, what are triads and what are arpeggios? Triads are exactly what they say. Three notes. Arpeggios are the outline of the chord itself. So you can have a major arpeggio, you can have a major seventh or minor seventh. So for the purposes of this, I want to talk about working with um, primarily um, triads, um, which are just three notes. Uh, so in this case, we're going to just deal with um, minor triads. So a minor is just means that the third note of the scale is flatted and the seventh is unflatted as well. But in this case, um, let's start off with a C minor triad so you guys get a little bit of the sense of the sound of the triad. So typically, um, there you'd see something like this in C. C minor seventh I'm playing right here. So a major um, triad would look like this. It would be a one, three, five. Okay. Okay. And all of that in a major triad, in this case of C, would be C, E, and G. So C, E, G. In this case, all we're going to do is flat the third. So C. So C, E flat, G. C. E flat G C E flat G okay and if you look at the minor um, triad here that I played at stair to heaven so that's an A and then C which is the flatted third in this case and then E that's it so let's have some fun with that so that you can make musical to, to uh, basically learn triads, let's say. All right, one of the things I like trying to do is kind of learn where all of the three notes are. So in the case of C, C, E flat, G, you have this, C, E flat, G, that's one position, then C, E flat, G, it's another one, then C, E flat, G, this form right here, then here, all right, that's the beauty of the guitar, it repeats itself. So one of the things I like to do is practice this kind of a pattern for a minor triad. So that's a C minor triad. So I have the C here, the E flat, the G, C here, E flat, G, and then C, E flat. And then just sweep it a little bit. Then I'll grab same pattern for a G. So all I'm doing now is just practicing triads, but trying to make it more musical. And you can do a lot of stuff. You can put distortion, you can play with the pick, you can um, you know, just reorder the notes, but.
All right, you get the idea. Just have fun with it, okay? C, G, F. All right, practice, 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 and have a wonderful Sunday.